Five years ago, billionaires Barry and Honey Sherman were murdered in their Toronto home. The case has not been solved, and police announced they had identified a suspect who was never named and has not been found. Kevin Donovan is chief investigative reporter for the Toronto Star. He, as you know, has been covering this case since the murders happened, and he hosts season two of the podcast Suspicion, which this time is devoted looking deeper into the Sherman's murders, and he's our guest in studio. Good to have you back. Good to be on. Okay, so the mystery remains around this case. Who did it? and why were they killed? What will you be looking at in this new season? Well, in the season of uh, Suspicion, which is focusing on the Shermans, is called The Billionaire Murders, uh, we're, we're looking at, uh, at the whole story. We're looking at who the family is, we're looking at who would have motive to kill uh, Barry and Honey, and we're also taking a deep uh, look at uh, uh, some of the, the struggles that uh, the Shermans had, uh, uh, you know, raising kids, uh, and, and in, in a world where, uh, you know, it's great to have money, but they had a lot of money, and that can put a lot of pressure on a family, surprisingly. Yeah. Uh, why do you think people are still so fascinated five years on with this case? It's a whodunit. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, five years in, as you mentioned, we don't know uh, uh, exactly where the police are going on this. They say that they are going in the right direction. They're looking overseas in three countries to try and find information to prove their theory. Uh, the, the thing is that I think people are fascinated both by who the Shermans were, incredibly important people in our country and certainly in the city of Toronto, uh, philanthropists. Uh, you know, Barry Sherman had a, uh, you know, was a brilliant mind. Uh, one wonders what he would have done if he'd uh, been alive during the pandemic. I have thought of that. Uh, but uh, it's a whodunit, and we're fascinated by that. Oh, I think the last time we had you on, it was because police had released this video saying they had this, they had a suspect. They didn't have a name, they didn't have a person in custody, but they had this video. What has happened since then? Yeah, the police spent four years trying to identify this person, this mystery man, about five foot six, walking in the snowy street, uh, leaving the Sherman uh, area uh, the night of the murders, exactly at the time of the murders, which is probably between about 9 and, and 10 o'clock p.m. Uh, they couldn't find who the person was. Uh, one of the many mistakes I think the police made, the Toronto police made, was waiting four years to ask the public for help. We all know our memories uh, dim as, yes. uh, as days and months and years pass and so now they don't know who the person is uh, I think they believe that this information they're looking for uh, overseas which I think is financial information will help them figure out who that person was I don't think that person is necessarily the killer he might have been a lookout he might have been a lookout yeah in, th this is the person on the video so there's still more to be uncovered in this in this case. And new information this morning, I think you were saying. Yeah, today in the Toronto Star, we have a story on how uh, uh, Honey's wallet was just jammed with $7,500. She'd gone uh, to an ATM uh, just uh, an hour before she was killed. And uh, uh, presumably that's where the money came from. I think it was probably money to pay for uh, staff tips. It was the holiday season. Right. The importance of this is, if you go back five years, remember the, the police uh, thought it was a murder-suicide. Uh, the first thing they did is they ruled out that it was a break-in because this money was just sitting right there. And of course, if somebody had come into the house uh, uh, to, to rob them and, and murder them, they would have taken that money. And the money was right there. Kevin, I know people who will stop you and they always want to know, who do you think did it? I'm not going to put you on the spot and ask you that question. But what stands out to you, given all this information that you are constantly reviewing, you've been to court to fight for information to be released, what still stands out to you in this case? What stands out is that the police have said that the estate of Barry and Honey Sherman, uh, who got what, who didn't get what, that is uh, embedded, their words, in this case. Uh, and that's the direction I'm going. Interesting. It's just enough of a hint there that if you follow Kevin's writing, you might be able to follow down that trail. Always great to have you on. Congrats on season two, this one focusing on uh, the Sherman murders. And you can listen to season two of Suspicion uh, uh, starting today on all platforms, right? That's right, wherever you get your uh, podcasts. We'll be listening. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.